All right, hunt and peck banjo. We've all been there, right? You hear a song you like, you want to play it. You really have no idea where to start, and you're just hunting and pecking around the banjo trying to find the melody. And then you see these other guys, they hear a song one time, and they just, they're awesome. They play it great. And if you are one of those people, you're the worst. If that's you, that's great. But for the rest of us, how do we go further along the path from just hunting and pecking to being able to play a song instantly, right? We'll never quite get all the way there, but maybe we can get closer. Well, the secret is it takes just a little bit of music theory and scale practice. Oh, hold on. Stay with me. (laughs) I know this can sound intimidating, but it's really not too bad. Don't worry. We're not going to be singing do, re, mi. Everything we do here is going to connect directly to playing songs. We don't learn music theory on this channel that doesn't help us play songs. All right. So we're in open G tuning. That's G, D, G, B, D. (laughs) We're in the key of G. And so we'll be using the G major scale. And we use this to learn a song that I think y'all probably know. It's called You Are My Sunshine. All right, so where do we start? There are 17 frets on this banjo, four strings, not counting the fifth. So with the open strings, that adds up to 72 possible starting places. Is it here? Is it here? Here? I don't know. That is way too much for me to work with. Let's see if we can cut that down to a more manageable number. We actually are going to cut this down by about 85%. So we'll end up with 11 possible notes to play around with, okay? So the way we're gonna do that is we're going to limit our notes to notes found in the G major scale, because we're in the key of G, uh, barring very unusual circumstances, like 99% of the time, all the notes in this song are going to be found in our G major scale. So here's what that G major scale looks like. Now, uh, that's still quite a few notes, but what we can do is we can limit it to the first five frets, um, because all our notes will be found on those first five frets. If we want to play up the neck later, we can figure that out, but we're just trying to pick out the melody here. So first five frets. Okay, so we've already eliminated quite a bit, but we can do even more because some of these notes are the same. Uh, So for example, the fifth fret of the fourth string is just the same as the third string open. Uh, So we can get rid of all these duplicate notes. All right, so you see what we've done? We've gone from 72 possible notes in our You Are My Sunshine melody to 11. That is going to be so much easier to handle. We are going to now do a little bit of hunt and peck for that melody, but in such a limited area, it's really not too difficult. So yeah, let's see how this might work. First step is to sort of be able to hum the song in your head or sing the song, or out loud is even better, You Are My Sunshine, you know that song, right? And just kind of start to hunt around for that start. So... You are, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me, you make me too high. You make me happy. <laughs> Yeah, not bad, right? So, I mean, we can pretty much... Okay, I know that might not sound like much right now, but that is, I mean, pretty cool, right? We just, we we narrowed down our possible notes and really were able to very quickly dial in on a melody here. So now that we've got that, our next step is to build our arrangement and we do that by 